Hello everyone, I'm FMZ and welcome to episode 7 of Earning My Spurs. Today we take a look at a match roundup of the games we've had since we were last together. Don't forget if you enjoy this content please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Leave me a comment if you've got anything to say on anything on the channel. Also don't forget I am now part of the FM Creators community and the Passion for FM team. The links to our Discord servers are in the description below. Let's get to the results. And we start with the match that followed the game against West Ham United. The link is in the description if you want to see that one. And we travelled to Bramall Lane and won by two goals to nil. Let's take a look at the goals from the game. We start with an early goal for Belotti Fernandez with the ball in the middle, playing it out to the left where Deli Alley was. Belotti with a good first touch and a good finish for 1-0. And then we wrapped up the game 10 minutes from time. Fernandez with the ball again once more to Lucas Moura, who ran through on goal before finishing neatly into the far post to give us a 2-0 win over Sheffield United. We then travelled to Russia to take on Zenit St. Petersburg in the Champions League and won by four goals to nil. Let's take a look at the goals. We started early with a penalty from Balotti for 1-0 on 17 minutes. Made it two on 23. Musa Sissoko with the goal. Samedo with the ball down the right. He sent it into the edge of the box where Musa Sissoko powered one in to the bottom corner. He doubled his tally for the afternoon just before half time. Samedo with the ball again on the right hand side. Playing it towards the edge of the box. Not a quite the same effort but a, a pretty good one nonetheless. And then we wrap the game up in the 80th minute with an own goal as it just hits the defender and ends up in the back of the net. And that secured our safe passage through in the Champions League. We've got one more game to look at later and then we'll look at who we're playing in the first knockout round. We then welcome Leicester City to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and won by two goals to nil. Let's take a look at the goals. Now, Harry Kane had taken a bit of a break, but he did come back into the side and scored from the penalty spot after 25 minutes. He doubled our lead just before half-time. Good work from Son and Deli Alley through to Danny Rose. Harry Kane with a bread-and-butter tap-in for 2-0. That's how it finished, but Leicester did miss a penalty in added time in the first half, which could have changed the game significantly. Thankfully, it didn't. Then we moved on to our most disappointing result for a little while as we lost at home to Chelsea by a goal to nil. Let's take a look at the goal from Kovacic. It was just before half-time. Mason Mount with the free kick. Rudiger with a header on and Kovacic heading the ball into the net. Disappointing to see two unchallenged headers there, especially with Cesar Astelacueta being sent off on 59 minutes. As you can see, we dominated, but we just could not find a way through against Chelsea but we did bounce back with a win against Burnley at Turf Moor a hard fought one at that two missed penalties in this one Vidra and Deli Ali both missing from the penalty spot but Musa Sissoko saved the day let's take a look at his goal Musa Sissoko coming into a rich vein of form and Dombele into Lamella back to Ndombele across to Fernandez. he doesn't score tap-ins does Musa Sissoko but Nick Pope will count himself unlucky not to keep it out as we won at Turf Moor by a goal to nil. We then rounded off the Champions League group stage with a 2-0 win against Club Bruges. Two goals from Sun Hyun Min in the last 20 minutes. Let's take a look at the goals from it. So a much changed Tottenham lineup against Club Bruges as we had players who needed minutes to get their time on the field. But Sun did fire us in front on 71 minutes. Simon Mignolet will admit he probably needed to do better with that one, but never mind. And then we doubled our lead on 80 minutes. Lucas Moura down the right-hand side. There is Son at the bottom of your picture. He finds his way beyond the last defender to tap in for 2-0. And we'll see who we play in the first knockout round shortly. Now we're going to move on to probably our most exciting game of the season so far. Tottenham 4, Watford 4. Crazy game of football. Let's take a look at the goals from it. So Roberto Pereira put Watford in front on 35 minutes. Etienne Capu, former Spur, playing it into the box. There is Pereira to fire past Hugo Lloris. But we were back on level terms pretty quickly. Sun down the left, playing the ball in towards La Celso onto Harry Kane, who fired it into the net. And then Watford took over before half time, scoring two quick goals. Danny Welbeck in behind for the second Watford goal, but Troy Deeney with the finish. 
And then they made it 3-1 on 43 minutes. Another ball over the top to Kore this time, sending the ball into Danny Welbeck this time as he finished at the second attempt beyond Hugo Lloris. Then the fight back started in the 72nd minute. Harry came with the ball here on the right, swinging it towards the far post. Bruno Fernandes with a lovely shot for 3-2. Then we pulled it back level to make it 3-3. Lamella into Fernandes. He sent it back through to Eric Lamella, who sent the ball into the centre for Harry Kane to tap in. The turnaround was complete in the 92nd minute. Delhi Ali with the goal. Sissoko tapping it to him before Ali fired it into the net. But we weren't done. Watford equalised in the 94th minute. Saar down the left-hand side, coming it into the penalty area before firing beyond Hugo Lloris to make it Tottenham 4, Watford 4. Slightly less goals this time around as we beat Bournemouth by two goals to nil to end today's roundup. Let's take a look at the goals. So Lucas Moura opened the scoring just after the hour. Rose with the ball on the left-hand side, sent it across towards the far post. There is Lucas Moura to head in for 1-0. And a big moment here for Ryan Sessignon. He opened his Tottenham account with the second goal. Lucas Moura sending it back across the penalty area for Sessignon to head in as we left the Vitality Stadium with all three points. So the Champions League knockout draw has been made and we make the trip to Donetsk to take on Shakhtar in the first knockout round. It could have been a lot worse. We'll take a look at the whole draw in a second. But that is our reward for topping Group A, a trip to Shakhtar. The rest of the Champions League draw looks like this. So PSG will play Bayern Munich in possibly the tie of the round. Dynamo Zagreb will take on Juventus. Leipzig will play Chelsea. Salzburg will play Barcelona. Inter will play Manchester City. Lyon will play Real Madrid. Liverpool will play Atletico Madrid. That is another humdinger. But that is the first knockout round draw for this year's Champions League. So into the competition screen we go. So the FA Cup third round draw has been made. We make the trip to St Mary's to take on Southampton in round three. We've already mentioned the Champions League draw. There it is once more. In the Premier League, we are up to fourth in the table on 37 points. We are only three points off the top of the table. For a short time, we were top at one stage. It was only for the afternoon. Don't get too excited. But it is constituting up quite nicely in the Premier League, with Chelsea being top on 40. Liverpool one point further back on 39, but have played a game less. Manchester City on 38. There's us on 37. Level on points with Manchester United but a goal better off, and Arsenal on 35. Wolves have dropped like a stone, sadly. They're down to 8th. West Ham are still hanging around the top 7, down at the bottom, because it all goes down at the bottom. Sheffield United are now off the mark win-wise, but they're still bottom of the table. Southampton have dropped into the bottom 3, by virtue of Norwich leaping out of it. Aston Villa are on 13. Newcastle have had a bit of an improvement, but not by much. Burnley, Everton, Brighton, Leicester and Crystal Palace complete the bottom half. So there we have it. It's been a very exciting roundup this one. If Southampton's league form translates into the FA Cup, then that'll be all good for us. We should make it through to round four. We can part the Champions League now until February. Obviously, we know Shakhtar is to come. We can now concentrate on the Premier League and keeping up with the pace setters. Obviously, we're only three points off at the top of the table, but it's very, very tight at the top of the league. So we're going to have to do well to maintain it and keep up with all the sides around us. If you've enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel but would like to do so, please hit the subscribe button down the corner. Don't forget, if you've got anything to say on any of the content on this channel, please leave me a comment on the video. That was episode seven of Earning My Spurs. We'll drop back in after another eight or so games. We'll have a look at the January transfer window as well to see if we bought anybody in. There may be some movement, but you'll find out who that is next time around. Until then, thanks for watching. Goodbye.